Hey guys, this is Allie Edwards, and today I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how I created the elements that I put on the outside of the brown bags for the Valentine goodie bag. I'm using Silhouette Studio software, and this is also, there's a giveaway that's happening over on my uh, blog currently today through the 7th of February, excuse me, the 6th of February, and you can enter to win a studio or a silhouette portrait machine and some double sided adhesive pages that they now have available. So I'm going to be combining two different shapes, and that's part of what I want to show you today. The other thing I want to show you is how to trace uh, my PNG files. And so the first thing I'm going to do, I've got the Silhouette Studio software open here. And then I'm going to open, navigate on my computer to where I have um, these Hello Heart boxes. And here's kind of the visual of what is included in this kit that's available at Designer Digitals. I am going to use this large heart and I've got one there, but I also want to, I'm going to do two, one for Simon and one for Anna. So I just copied, um, I used Command C, Command V. You can also go up under Edit and do Copy and Paste. Now to trace the PNG files, once you have these in there, these aren't ready to cut yet because you need to have the die lines, so we need to trace them. I'm going to drag to select both of them, come over here, click on the Trace button, and then I'm going to click select trace area and I'm going to select both of them at the same time and then you see you get this nice yellow area that is the area that I want to have cut you can adjust that by coming over here to the high pass filter and going up or down so, so you can see if you go down it's that is less area you want it to be nice and full in terms of filling up the black lines then you come right up here and you click trace and now you will see, I usually just click on these and then delete them because I don't need them anymore, these pieces. Okay, so now I have two outline hearts that when these are cut out, they'll be thin lined outlines. But what I decided I wanted to do for this one is I wanted to add each of their initials as well. So I use the type tool, I'm making a letter A. I'm going to use a font called Bebus New, which is one I find myself using often and I'm clicking on it and I'm going to enlarge this actually the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup these object released com compound path and now you can each of these different shapes are editable okay so I've got the A I'm going to bring it up here I want the A to be touching different areas or crossing over the lines here because I'm going to combine these together to form one shape and I'll show you how I do that in a second. So I'm getting it so that it kind of goes over um, just a bit. Okay, so I have the A selected. Actually, I want to select all those shapes, so I'm going to drag to select them all. I'm going to come down to the bottom here, and I'm going to weld selected shapes into one shape. Actually, it didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. Probably what we need to do first is come up to object and say make compound path we want that to be one thing let's try this and then bring the A up again here okay and then let's select both I'm holding down the shift key so I selected the A and now I'm selecting the other shape and I'm gonna try welding again there we go okay so now this is all one shape Another thing that I've decided to do with this one is I don't I want to have the heart be a filled in shape rather than right now it would be open. I'm going to come back up under object, release compound path. That allows me to click on the inside of the heart and delete it. So now when I cut this with the machine, it's going to give me the the A and the outline heart together. So let's repeat those same steps again over here for the S for Simon. I select it all, going to object, make compound path. That makes it into one um, big shape there. I'm going to make an S, double checking it's the same font. And now I'm going to enlarge it so that it's touching two parts. And on this one, let's see, I want it to just overlap a little bit. Okay. And then I am going to, whoops, select both, holding down the shift key to select both the objects. Come down and click weld. 
Now on this one, I think this one might look cooler if you left it, but I'm still going to delete the inside of the S there. So selecting it, going to Object, Release Compound Path, and then I'm clicking the inside of the heart to remove that. So now when I print it out, it's going to be, or when I cut it with the machine, it'll be one big shape like that. So I hope that's helpful for you in terms of learning how to trace PNG files and to weld more than one shape together to create a new design. I'm happy to answer any questions if you have them um, in the comments section, and I hope you have a great uh, February.